today I have got my 44th Lego haul and this was a pick up what I forgot haul from the Lego store when I went last time starting off with the smallest thing I got there we've got the Lego extra street lamp pack which is the Lego extra pack I forgot to get when I went to the Lego store last time when I got two plant packs and a traffic light pack. I was supposed to get a traffic light pack plant pack and a street lamp pack so I picked up that to correct that from last time and then I also forgot to pick up a second 2018 Lego brand store set so that I could mirror I could have it two stories and have it back to back which I plan to open both of these soon no thoughts videos for no thoughts video for the Lego store but the Lego extra pack will have one and then we've got set 31081, the modular skate house. I got two of these, one for the main build and one for the skate park build because I have a ton of unused bicycles in my city. So I thought those that would be a great way to integrate those into my city instead of just laying around my city. And then we've got... The pirate roller coaster, which I got from Target a couple weeks ago. I got this for about 45% off. So, that was really nice. And then we've got a Scooby-Doo 3-pack. We've got Scooby-Doo Goes Hollywood, Aloha Scooby-Doo, and Scooby-Doo Stage Fright. I got this mostly so that I could transfer Scooby-Doo Goes Hollywood onto a DVD because you guys know that was the last Scooby-Doo movie I needed to transfer from tape to DVD. So I picked up that. And then we've got the Lego Movie 2 on DVD. It says rental on the bottom, but that was because I picked it up from this movie store that was going out of business. So they had their movies on sale, so I picked this up. And Scooby-Doo Shaggy Showdown from that same store for $7.50. Which is pretty good, considering Scooby-Doo and the Gourmet Ghosts came af the, right after, um, well, not right after, but the next year after Shaggy Showdown. And that's the same price for that one movie, and it's like, no, not worth it. And then we've got Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated, the complete first season. They didn't have the second season, otherwise I would have completed my Scooby-Doo collection right there. But I'm going to wait on getting... The second season probably for Christmas I'm not going to be doing any more Lego hauls until Christmas now because I'll be starting college this was just a fun thing before I started college and then we've got a couple Scooby-Doo things we've got two pairs of Scooby-Doo socks that I got from the orthodontist when I got my braces off forgot to include those I didn't know if you guys wanted to see these so I didn't include them, but I thought I would include them in this haul just to make it a little bit more unique. And then we've got this really awesome Scooby-Doo shirt that I found at a clothing store. And then finally, we've got the last Wave 1 Lego Movie 2 set that I wanted, which is the Ultra Caddy Warrior Lucy set, which I... Backed out on it last time I went to the Lego store, so I pulled the trigger on it and picked it up this time. So, you guys can tell me your thoughts on this haul. Expect a thoughts video on the Lego Extras pack and a placement of the um, pack itself and a mocking, mocking of the two 2018 Lego store sets I have once I built once I build the new one and place it into the city but the other four sets will not be built until um, I get back from my vacation which I'll be leaving this coming Friday and then I'll be gone for a week so that's something to keep in mind for my videos but you guys will hear that again if you watch the city update that I have planned for um, this coming week sometime. So 
You guys can tell me your thoughts on this haul video in the comment section below, and just like and subscribe for more, because I will do more in the future.